Let's open it up. This is $900. I'm excited. The auctioneer says that they collected cards. Um, I've been looking for a Mickey Mantle rookie. Ooh, look at these cards, baby girl. Do you know what this is? 1979 tops. Look at this. This is, this is a lot of potential here. Mm, look at this. High five, low five. You know what that is? That is 1971 tops. Oh my God. 1972, look at this. <laughs> Willie Stargell Hank <laughs> Frank Robinson. <sighs> Tom Seaver's rookie, I think, right there. Oh my freaking Lord. This is actually really good, baby girl. This is actually really freaking good. Thank you. If this is stuff you're selling in bulk, I would like to see the stuff you kept. That makes me intrigued because this is decent stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, pirates and salt princes of all ages. Yes, look at this masked woman we have here. We have a sidekick today and we are at an auction. We are at an amazing auction. Okay, it's not really that amazing. It's public store. We've been here every month for the most of our lives. But we are here. And we are about to see boom, boom, boom. Storage units. Are you ready, princess? How many are you buying today? All right, let's get started. We got all the tools needed. We got our flashlights. Psych, that don't make a damn difference anymore. We got to watch them on the phone. I'm going to show my daughter how to make a vlog of being a storage buyer slash reseller. And I'm gonna show you step by step, showing her how I do it. And then you guys go to her channel and you watch her videos. That's the Salt Princess, link is below. Anyway, it's very simple. Here we are. The first thing you do whenever you make a video or a vlog is you make an intro and you do things like you say, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, pirates, how you doing? We are here, this is what we're doing. And then you show a quick pan of that. We are at public storage today for an auction. And there's your intro. That's the first thing you do. The next step is you need to have a body. All right, when you write a story, you need have the body. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna come up with some content and we will walk you through that. Example one, this is a storage unit. We are looking at it. We are an auction and this is what we are seeing next. So we're gonna do content. Hey everybody, this is a five by 10. This will be up for auction. We're probably not gonna buy it because it looks like crap, but here we are. Then the next step is to notify everybody that this auction was a turd bucket and now we are on to the next one. You get this all princes. The next thing is it to, to mark what has happened and transpire and then we take off and arrive to our next destination. Now you make a quick little cut scene of, of some type of time lapse fast action. First thing is you for, don't forget to add music into your time lapse then you'd be like, we are here. We are at the next stop and this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna see auction. Are you with me still? Are you following me still on this program? Mm -hmm. What did we do? are adding music. Wait, wait, first we made a intro. Then we talked about it. Then we did a um, I don't know, a time lapse. Okay, with which we added music. Okay, that's the four things. Let's get on to our next step. This reminds me, we should go and look on storage treasure to see if there's any good units across the way at security public storage. All right, one quick rule here, vlogger. I'm teaching you how to vlog. One of the most important things to do is when you're at a live auction and you're watching on the phone, what you don't do is sit there editing your video and forget to turn on the auction and not watch the unit. So that is like rule number two, all right? You got that? Mm -hmm. Check. All right, microphone check. Now we're on to the third stop. Hopefully we get our act together by then. Showed you what not to do in an auction. That's forget the word auction. Now the next thing to do is remember to log in this time and actually watch the auction so we don't miss it. All right, we are set. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I just bid on this unit. I'm not filming the, the live auction part because it's kind of boring and hard for you guys to see. There was a little unit. It opened up. It was just boxes. Wasn't expecting it. And it said cards, right? It said cards and cards. You guys know, it's like when the Grateful Dead thing happened. I found the Grateful Dead and then I got the shirts. So, I've been selling lots of sports cards lately. I just had a hunch and I bid aggressive. People were trying to buy it cheap. I bid aggressive. And then after I went in the office, like, the auctioneer was like, I think that's the one that the guy has been pleading me with for weeks now to not sell it. It's a sports car collection, him and his kids collected. And he tried to get the kids to pay and they didn't want the sports cards. I don't know. Everybody always automatically thinks if somebody doesn't want some, it's not going to have value. But I'm a firm believer that most people don't realize what they have. I'm, I've always been that way. So we're about to go look. <laughs> I think we hit a jackpot. I don't even know. I'm just praying 
jackpot, Mickey Mantle rookie. <laughs> Salt Princess, you didn't watch me buy this. You watched me bid it, but you didn't look. Let's open it up. This is $900. I'm excited. The auctioneer says that they collected cards. Um, I've been looking for a Mickey Mantle rookie. You pull it up, slide it out, get it out of the hole like that. Boom. All right. Um, what do we have here? Itemized deductions, demo reels. Demo reels sound interesting. Software. I think there's potential in here. But most importantly, I need to see in these boxes here to say cards. Can you move those down? We'll just, let's not even look in those. We're gonna keep that a surprise for the, the beautiful pirates out there. Holy moly. All right. Ooh, she got one box. Don't hurt, don't hurt yourself. Let's get to the next box. Next box, Xbox. Ooh, come on, Michael Jordan rookie. I would just open it up. Yeah, there you go. You want me to, you want me to do this and you film? See a few things, are you filming? Mm -hmm. Let's see a few things we got here. And then from there, we'll cool. Come on, be some, look at these cards. These have potential. You know the, You know how much Panini cards are doing right now? I don't even really know what a Panini card is. Oh, look at, look at this. Ooh, look at these cards, baby girl. Do you know what this is? 1979 tops. Look at this. This is, this is a lot of potential here. There's a lot of potential when the first box you pull out has those type of cards, man. If we found a panini, we would be rich. Do you know that? Do you know what a panini is? I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Mm. Look at that. Come on. What year is this? High five. Low five. You know what that is? That is 1971. Nineteen seventy-two. Look at this. <laughs> Willie Stargell, Hank, Frank Robinson, <sighs> Tom Seaver's rookie, I think, right there. Oh my freaking lord! This is actually really good, baby girl. This is actually really freaking good. Nineteen seventy-three, nineteen seventy-four. Oh my freaking lord! Pete Rose, also Willie McCovey. Oh my. I said the F word. Gaylord. <laughs> Come on, let's see something else in here. Oh, yes. Sweet baby Jeebus. Nice. We have so much cars to go through. Hold on a second. I have to look at the bottom box now, too. This is freaking phenomenal. This is freaking phenomenal. Seven, 98 CC series. I stopped collecting right about then, so I won't know much about these. But I do know we got some good freaking cards, too. And there's no telling what else is in here. Like that. Photos, papers. This is a great little unit. And we're going to do all right. Should we take this one box home with us? I, I say we to. take this one box home and we'll finish up. We'll finish up at home with that this video will do a full reveal and that binder. and this is freaking nuts 900 bucks and we have that all to go i bet you that box pays for this unit and then some i bet you that doubles our money Oh, Pirates, we're on a roll. We just bought another one. $450, 10 by 20. This one looks actually really well intriguing. People were sleeping on this one. Everything looks quality. Right away, I saw this and thought that looked clean. I saw this. People are turned off by that. The mattresses are actually in pretty good shape. It is a 10 by 20, and everything looks really Really clean. Looks like quality pieces, actually. And we got this whole thing for $450. i am really intrigued to go through this one and liquidate. So many videos coming, Pirates. So many videos. Racing, racing, racing to the last auction of the day. My mind is going a million miles an hour. My blood is just pumping. We just scored, baby girl. Two units in a row. I don't know where everybody's at. They're sleeping today, but we have to hurry up and get to this last auction. Four units, right? There's four units. And then we got to go meet somebody. We're picking up $1,000 and stuff. He's bringing us a truckload of stuff. You'll probably see it on her channel. And she's oh, man. Woo last unit. Last chance, romance for love. 
original one too. Yeah. Right, no, that's reprint. reprint. But he'll, still nice. Yeah, I mean, it's it, like I said, it's it's cool stuff, and nice. doing a lot of uh, you know. I, I think a lot of this stuff, the smalls especially, will be good for your yeah. Your, uh, I'm just getting some little bit of footage here. Yeah. Ice cream dish from the day that I put the uh, anal thermometer in my mouth and everybody said, you don't know what that is? Cool, old football. More just... Oh, wow. Ephemera. Yeah. We call it. In the business world. Look at all this. Neat. All right. This stuff. Lots of it. Lots of stuff. Wow. I like stuff. Smalls are always better, too. These are... Marilyn and... You know, these are stock, Who don't love stock photos, yeah. old movie star stills, yeah. uh, movie stills. Some, there's some stuff mm -hmm. signed, not a big deal, but mm -hmm. cool stuff. 10 4. Hey boy oh, calendars. Yeah. And there's some. Close your eyes. There's some smaller <laughs> ones here, too. Uh, some of these are complete and incomplete. He's marked them on here. Yeah. There's a couple hundred dollars worth of just that stuff in yeah. there. Because you can get... Yeah. Oh, oh. Understandable. Only one guy. And some of it's going to be better than others. Yeah. Some of it's going to be just tchotchke stuff, but it's still cool stuff. Medium flat rate with the stuff there. Bubble fun. Ooh. Uh, we're, we're just trying to do an assessment real quick. There we go. I'm quite certain we're buying this. Cub Scout stuff. Oh, I'm sure you are. Yeah, I, 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 would, I wouldn't know why you wouldn't. Uh, I like it. It's all cool smalls. So far, everything I like, I see. It's good stuff. It's good lots. Yeah, I like it. Some watches. Look at all this great stuff. Okay. Little woman's going to be so excited having to go through all this. Tokens. Oh, yeah. And you know, a lot of this stuff is, you know, three, five, Just ten little bucks. things. Some of that. Stuff like this is all I do is just put it in lots, you know, and it exactly. is whatever it sells for, it sells for. Exactly. And, you know, quite frankly, I, if you didn't want this, I was going to do some of that with uh, on eBay. The small stuff, just lots. I don't know. If this is stuff you're selling in bulk, I would like to see the stuff you kept that makes me intrigued because this is decent stuff. It's, it's yeah, not bad. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Just all small. It definitely is somebody's. Antique booth. Yeah. Well, it's all marked on yeah. there because he had to, you know, he had to have it in his booth. So it was booth number and his name. That's brilliant. Thing. It's kind of cool. Look at all these videos you get to film later, baby girl. All this deep. This is a whole, this is a video for you right here. What I try to do because she has a channel too is I've been mm -hmm. letting her do these for her videos. Oh, like cool. she films yeah. the opening and showing of all that. Look at all these cars, baby girl. Portraits. We sell a lot of portraits. Put put them in lots and whatever it goes for. You know who those people are? Mm. Jeffrey Hunter. Jeff Says who they are. I just don't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, you know that, that's uh, Robert I, Young. I he was know. on uh, what we call MD. Uh... Ooh, we got swords. Ooh, is that real? Genuine? Yeah. That's old. Look at that. Yeah. I should keep this and shoot the kids with it. All right, we got some cars, little tinky toys. Looks like the trains I got from you a couple weeks ago. All neat little toys, I like it. It's very old, if that's the one thing that's older. Not a big deal here, but there's some comics, some, there's some adult comics, there's some like few porn? little uh, arcade, you know, those. Oh yeah, that's cute. Little odds and ends. One Atari game. Right, one Atari <laughs> game, yeah. I have some stuff I should. Those are cool. Those are original. Boxes are banged up, but yeah. you can Bobble get 50, heads. 60 bucks. They're all Kiss bobbleheads. It's the set. Artillery shells. Weird Couple little reels. stuff. Shofskis. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Oh, okay. More little just stuff. These are cool. These are little metal toys. Made in Japan. 16. is always better than China. Interesting stuff. Maybe a couple of newer things. These are all pinball games. This is kind of, I didn't know what this was until I looked at it, but it's a, have you ever had one out of a, of a storage locker? It's no. a cigar mold press. Oh. I can see the little woman keeping that for, like, decoration. Sex display, yeah. And, and I don't know if it came with them or not, because it looks like it had the tobacco That's a tax. That's a tax yeah. stamp. Yeah, but I mean, it, it must have had, might have had cigars in here mm. sold as that. 
I looked it up. I couldn't find this one. I saw other ones on there going from Neat. 40 to 100 bucks. And uh, more ephemera. Yeah, these are... Ephemera is one of our favorite words. Yeah, it's, it makes us sound smart. It does. I feel sound sophisticated when I say it, you right. know? These are all nice. fruit label, cigar labels. Yeah. Cute decorative things. Yeah. The lower in the box, but it's just, you know, chocolate. Yeah. Stuff you can't get rid of. Patches. Yeah. Patches. Scarecrow is cute. Oh, look at that. Key. He had every single item labeled and so. Because it all was in his cases. That, you can know. you imagine being that, though? If you were, Because you're a reseller. Can you imagine the time it takes to look up each item, tag it? That's, that's so, and that's analog business, you know? Society. Like the amount of time it took to do that, it is exactly. an eBay item. Exactly. Exactly. And then they have to think about: Do you want to make ten dollar ads? Exactly. Wait, let it sit on a shelf. Do you have a minimum? You list. What's your a minimum number? It depends on how easy it is. You know, I'll sell a ten dollar item if it's a small slot car or yeah. something like that because it's four, it's, four it's by four box. Something you like. But it's so easy. And. And you call your own shots and your own hours, so. He had some, this is, oh, yeah. this is not like this, from my train stuff. This is still all Like stuff. the stuff they got from you a couple weeks ago that's still sitting in here. <laughs> right. You want to look at your old stuff sitting in my storage? Well, you know, it's thing back, you know. Weird how it works. Right now on eBay, the guy who I bought my train unit for for 34 grand, mm -hmm. him and his wife are on my eBay buying everything all of a sudden as of last night. Buying train stuff back? They're buying back their panties <laughs> and trains. I'm freaking blown away. Like we have medical issues and we just want to retain some stuff. Oh, uh, like, well, that, yeah, that's cool. I told him go down to public storage and tell him you want your other your twenty grand difference that you get coming and then go shopping. I, I did this for a while with another guy and I did real good. I mean, and, and we worked good together. It's just that I was spending way more time making less, you know, doing storage auctions than I was just do, you know picking and yeah. buying from people, doing storage you know auctions. That is neat. I've never seen that one. German Mauser bayonet scabbard. He, you know, whether this is a complete set or not, I didn't look. Uh, Superman looks like it might be. He not, not a huge. I never found any of these, but those probably just be a lot of my auction. Of they don't, these. These are what I was telling you, squinkies. You know, they're kind of a newer thing, but it's a store display. If you look them up on eBay, I didn't see any that had sold, but I see some that they're asking anywhere from 100 to 300 dollars. So I these think, ones don't come out; they're just permanently attached. Yeah. These are old. Wow. I think these were like make that worthwhile, you know. Plus, you had to. I think he said he had to work two days. All right. Okay. Trolls, those are old. That's, that's kind of cool. So you can see the rest of it. Really. Old basketball. Player. Oh yeah. Rick, the Rick Berry, uh, and that's a wrap guys i think that is well worth a thousand dollars the salt princess will do a full video on her channel of every box you'll have to go see it 